Let me ask you something. Six nine hollers at you and wants to do a song. I can't you do it. A million dollars. I you can't do it. That, are you? Can't do it. Why would I go rap with this man okay. when I can go I have a great time, a threesome, and Hold make on. a million in Hold two on. three months? Hold on. Okay, not a million, but everybody got a price. They tell me five I million. I don't have a price. Ten million. I would have signed the record deal. A hundred million. A billion. I wouldn't do it. A hundred million. I would not do no song with no person that told us somebody that did deliberately did this in front of the whole world and I have full information of this before it. I know that you did this to the world and and, 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 and you and you represent this. Hey, would you do a song with Gunner? No. no. I would not do a song with Gunner. I'll do a song with Young Thug before I do a song with Gunner. I do a song with Young Thug and talk about our problems as men and as gangsters and see eye to eye. Okay, we gotta close the room, put boxing gloves on and fight, or we just talk like oh, men man. and let buy guns be buy guns. It's Spurs Davis on the check in, and we got Sauce Walker on the Clearly Culture podcast where they pretty much ask him, How much money would it take for you to collaborate with somebody like a Takashi69 or a Gunna that's been known to snitch or whatever the case may be? And pretty much let it be known he ain't got a price tag. But this does bring up an interesting topic of how much can people be bought out for? Like, I know a lot of us have morals, integrity, things of that nature, but for billions and billions and billions of dollars to where you know your future seeds, your future, future, future seeds would be well off, you know, what would your price tag be? And you know, this is one of those ideas that I pondered on. And I thought about it deeply and I was like, it's just some things, yo, I just couldn't do for money. Like, I know a lot of y'all be thinking people be lying and fronting, but most likely you have a lower compass of your own morality or integrity as well, just cause you can be bought out, you know? So I find that interesting and salute the Walker for, you know, saying that he wouldn't do that, you know, if it's truly against what he believes in. Now, the difference with Sauce Walker though is he's already a millionaire, he's already well off, so he ain't gotta do, you know, nothing crazy for money. But most of us, eh, you know, it's kinda like, we'll see. It's the look of it, like, look at all the Takashi 6 9 comments where people was getting at him for being a rat, you know, like the day uh, he was in court and they had the live stream and everybody calling him a rat. But I truly believe deep in my heart, at least 80 plus percent of those people would do the same, same thing in his position. Now, I'm not saying what he did was, you know, agreeable. I'm not saying that necessarily. But at the same time, I don't subscribe to those uh, codes and rules and all that. So it's not for me to say. But I do know that once you, you know, <sighs> accept that role, you know, you call yourself a gangster, gang member, whatever the case may be, and you do something dishonorable, you know, that's the jacket you wear. You know, I can't respect that at the end of the day. But let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Y'all feel like everybody got a price tag or y'all feel like it's people, which I absolutely don't believe everybody does, but the vast majority, absolutely.